Hey, this is Roland from NetbookNews.com, and I'm right here at the AMD booth at CBIT 2011. And what we have here is the new Sony Wyo YB series. It's different from the YA, not from the chassis, but from what's inside, because this one's got the new AMD Fusion platform in there. In this case, it's the AMD Zakadi E350 dual core 1.6 gigahertz CPU. That's actually being combined with a Radeon HD 6310, so you should be able to watch full HD video with this device without any problem. Um, the screen is actually not as glossy as it looks, so in daytime you should be able to read it outside. And yeah, let's take a quick look around first. Up here we have a tiny webcam that should be at least, I think, a VGA resolution cam. The screen is 11.6 inches, it has a resolution of 1366 by 768 and down here we have the power plug, UGA out, HDMI out, a couple of fan bands, a USB 2.0 port, in the front there's two memory card readers actually, the upper one is for memory stick from Sony and the lower one is a typical standard SD card reader. There's two separated mouse buttons and a nicely separated trackpad. Feels pretty good, but the buttons actually feel quite cheap, so you might want to consider this before buying it. Down here we have the LEDs for wireless and battery status. And there's a wireless switch down here too. On to the right, there's a headset and microphone outs and ins. Another two USB ports, Kensington Lock plus a Ethernet port back there, that's the power switch. Up here we have a couple more LEDs and an assist button to reset the notebook. The keyboard is a Chiclet keyboard, which actually is pretty nice to type on, but the thing is, if you look closely you can see that the device is flexing quite a lot when you're hitting the buttons. So overall it feels actually quite cheap, so there's a couple of other notebooks with AMD platform that are actually cheaper than the Sony YB Bio series um, that you might want to consider, especially since this one's actually got only a pretty small 4 cell 3500 milliampere battery. So considering that this AMD platform is drawing a little more power than an Intel based platform, um, the runtime is probably going to be quite low. So in other tests it actually turned out that the device is only getting about like three close to or low three hours of battery life. Um, spec wise, it's pretty decently spec. It's got two gigs of RAM, 300 gig, 320 gig hard drive, plus the AMD platform, as I told you. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So this is the Sony Volume YB version with an AMD Zakati Fusion processor in there.